it is morning time and here we are in our hotel room sorry i can't move the blinds but if you can peek in between the blinds you can see the carnival jubilee and we are not far at all from the ship that's pretty cool we gotta get ourselves ready and head that way see you on the ship After being strip searched and sent to the wrong cruise port, we're here and we're fixing the board. All right, now we are in the suites area. It's been a rough one. Very rough morning. It's not our favorite port. Not our favorite port. We got a shuttle from the hotel to our cruise port, but they sent us to the Dream. And then we had to get off to the Carnival Dream. I had to stand because the shuttle was full. And after what, 20 minutes of jerking and jerking and jerking, they sent us to the Dream, told us to get our luggage, and we'd have to walk to the celebration. Oh, Jubilee. Oh, the Jubilee, sorry. I'm so distraught that I don't know which one I'm in. And the dog liked you. Yeah, then we get through security and I get randomly picked to be strip searched and they strip searched me. I had to put my hands on the table, spread my legs, and get patted down. They tore everything out of my bag and told me that I had a screwdriver. Carnival doesn't like tools on a ship. It's been a great start. So yeah, long story short, this has been a rough go at it. And the worst embarkation I've ever done. What a nightmare. We'll talk about it later. Okay, now to the good stuff. Everything that happened in Galveston stays in Galveston. <laughs> At least for this morning. Galveston was actually not bad, but the port area we'll talk about later. Until then, three, dos, one, and we're on. Oh, I'm going to get me a drink. You know why? Because I can. Here's the Alchemy Bar. We're on deck seven right now. We're going to do our muster station. Muster station drill. Me and Heather. Yep, there's me and Heather. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow. This keeps getting better and better. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Get we are in the Pacific oh, restaurant. I've been strip searched. I'm not in a good mood. They wouldn't let us wait for you. We tried. I know. I knew they would. They said no. What you, was it? You gotta go. Nothing. I don't have anything. The dog never even budged when he saw me. The guy just randomly hit, told him to pick me and take me over to the... And he was thorough. He even opened up my ibuprofen bottle. He asked what the orange pills were, yellow pills. The yellow pills, my vitamin D. I'm like, seriously? And he goes, you're not supposed to have a screwdriver on the cruise ship. Seven, if there's ever any emergency, this is where you are going to come. Your life jackets will already be here for you. For working your life jacket, you unbuckle the buckles, place your arm through over top of your head. The strap will go around your back and get buckled in at the front. Make sure that it's nice and tight. Any remaining strap will go around and get tucked in on the sides. The top strap gets buckled in. Make sure that it's also nice and tight. All right, guys. So, yeah, the secret's out. We got a suite. And we got on here first, which was great and all. The bad part about it is I have been treated like I am a stowaway. I have been felt in places that I do not want to be felt up at. But here's the casino. This is the first place I always go to. I want to see how it's laid out. It's laid out just like the celebration, laid out just like the Mardi Gras. Newest games, all those good games. They've got this little end over here, this extra little area that you can gamble as well. They got the fire links, all kinds of Buffalo games in here. Wow, this is like Buffalo Alley. And like the other ships, there is the little bar area that you can look down at. I love this casino. This is one of the best set up casinos. I'm talking about the Mardi Gras celebration Jubilee ships, the way it's set up, but it will get super crowded. This is usually where everybody comes and gambles and it gets packed. And here's where we will be for the next seven days in this casino. 
giving back what I won from my last trip. So let's go over here to the other side. I'm sure it's the same. If this is like the other two as well, where we just came from is the non-smoking. This side onto your left is also non-smoking. There should be a bar to our right. Yep, there it is. Everything beyond that point is smoking. But more than anything, I was just wanting to see what kind of games they had. They look like that they're all pretty much the same type of games that I've seen. That's a new one, haven't seen these. Monopoly Balloon Cash, we'll try those out. Ooh, Firelink Cash Falls, that's an updated version of Firelink, cool. There's your Dollar Links. I don't see my piggy games, there's Huff and Puff. All right, there it is. I'm gonna go eat now. All right, I'm up at the Lido deck right now, just ate Nashville hot chicken from Shaq's Chicken, and it was really good. I'm glad they have mm -hmm. hot chicken back. I don't know if it was forever gone, but I do know when we were on our last cruise on the celebration, they did not have Nashville hot chicken. They had chicken cordon bleu. But we're about one hour away from getting into our room. And once we get there, you will see what room we got. That's all I can tell you. Well, that's all the way on the other end. <laughs> no, not today. Wow. Not yet. All right, so since we're in the buffet area, I'll go ahead and show you what they have out. Looks like mac and cheese, jambalaya, pecan crusted fish, polo romana, pork rib, something, beef tips, potatoes, broccoli, and sweet potatoes. So, yeah, that is what is on the menu in the buffet when you first get on the ship. See what else they got. Their salad bar area, desserts, cookies, stuff like that. More desserts. Sea dog. You can get a hot dog over here. That's cool. And we'll do a proper tour of the ship when the time comes. But yeah, they have parts of the buffet open, and they all have the exact same thing on each side. And they do have some prime rib. It looks like yeah, that you can get as well. There you go. I think I'm gonna get me some coffee. I didn't have any dessert that I wanted, so coffee it is. And this is one of the things I definitely love about Carnival ships is they don't have packets. They have these that you can get as much sugar as you need and they always keep them filled. And I like sugar in my coffee. But they got cream, milk, all that kind of stuff. And they also have tea bags, Lipton, decaf and caffeinated. And then some other specialty teas, green teas, stuff like that. Sweet and low, Splenda. They even have uh, cane sugar, pure cane sugar here. There you go. All right, so we're at 10.503. Let's see what we got because this is the first time we've ever gotten any kind of sweet on a carnival anything. Well, we did get a junior sweet on the elation, but this is our room right here. It is the XL Aft Suite, and I'm so excited. Look at this room. I'll show you the balcony in a minute, but oh my goodness, we'll do a proper tour of it later. Closet space right here, refrigerator, big TV. That's just the living room. Let's go over here and see what we, oh, we've got a bed. We've got another TV. Look at all of this room. Oh, wow. So this is our bedroom. This is the vanity mirror. The bed is still two twins connected together. We have a walk-in closet. Oh my goodness, we have robes. I've never had robes before. Shelby, I am walking in a closet. Look at our robes. We have robes and we have slippers. <laughs> oh man, there's the safe. Look at that big old room. Look at this bathroom. Our big old shower. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see it better. Oh yeah, look at that. Big shower. Big sink, big, 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 everything big. It does have a his and her sink faucets, but it's one big sink, but that's still cool. It has its own private toilet, so you can literally go to the bathroom and have your own sink while somebody else takes a shower. That is so awesome. I think I'll lock myself out. Wait, let's try. <laughs> okay, what is going on here? I guess I gotta get it. I guess it locks from the inside. A few moments later. That's embarrassing. You can tell I've never been in a suite before because I just locked myself out. Okay, that is weird. 
All right, so that side locks. More moments later. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing right now. So let me see what how this is supposed to operate. So all you do, it's got a hook. So once it latches like that, you just open and turn. But you gotta use two hands because that thing is super tight. Golly, that hurt my fingers. But yeah, big shower. Look how big that shower is. It's got a over the head faucet. It's got the, looks like a microphone. Let's just go ahead and get in here. Look at this. I can sing while I'm in the shower. Yeah. But it also has, I guess, these shower heads right here. It has the overhead rain cascade, whatever they call it. Super cool. Let's go out of here and see what we got going on. Oh yeah, this is our balcony. Are you kidding me? Look at this. We have our own table. And I know you guys have seen these things before, but to actually be here and actually see one, it's insane. Look at the size of these chairs. Voyager T will not go to, she won't go anywhere in the ship. They will be here for seven days. Love that. But that's not all. Because when you make a left, you've got more seating and you've got a jacuzzi tub. Full-fledged jacuzzi tub, jets, the whole nine yards. I'm wondering with this jacuzzi tub, I wonder if it has a heat. I see bubbles. I see three buttons. It looks like spray bubbles and something else. We'll, we'll play with that later and see what it's all about. But yeah, I was curious to see if this acted like a hot tub and it would stay heated or you have to put hot water in and it'll just be like a bathtub where it'll cool off on its own. Whether it does or it doesn't, it's still awesome. That big old thing, that's insane. That is just so cool. These two big old lounge chairs that we can lay in. Voyager T likes to go and look at other videos with these suites. She likes to see what she's getting into. One of the things that they had mentioned was this stuff right here. You see that black stuff? That is soot from the well tail. So the exhaust from the well tail is that you can tend to get some soot on your balconies and i did not know that but here's our view we're on deck 10 deck 8 is right there where the aft pool is there is deck 9 and then there's all the decks above us right there this is awesome this is by far the best room we've ever had on any ship by far and will probably ever have and then here is a beautiful shot of galveston and if you see the white building where my finger is pointing that is the Tremont where we stayed. We got dropped off over there at that building because they put us on the wrong shuttle. We were supposed to be dropped off way over here and we got dropped off way over there and we had to walk all the way back over here. So that was miserable. But right there is the Carnival Dream and that's a big ship. That is a pretty ship too. That's a big one. I've never been on that one, but I know it's the same size as the Breeze, Carnival Breeze and the Magic, I believe. So yeah, this is our room for seven days. That's insane. And there goes the Carnival Dream. It is a pretty ship. We wave bye-bye to the other cruise ships. Bye, Carnival Dream. And there is Galveston. That is actually a pretty cool city. I would like to further explore that city, but that is actually the ocean side over there. And we are off. Now we are almost out of Galveston. There's a good look at Galveston. 
The last time I was in Galveston on the Carnival Breeze, I saw a lot of oil rigs. Yeah, look, there he goes. There's the ferry right there. T. No, that's a boat. Yeah, I see a ferry. I see the ferry, T. That's a strange looking one though. It's probably headed towards, I bet it's headed towards um, Houston because this bay connects all the way to Houston. Yeah, look at all those car ferries. They're coming from both ways. We're trying to figure out what is going on with these ferries that have all these cars on them. There's two right here, one there and then one there, and then there's one leaving right here. If anybody knows, you can leave them in the comments. I mean, seriously, what a great room this is to have this kind of balcony where you can see from not just the very back, but also the side and being able to see everything is so cool. This is such a great room. It's expensive, but it's worth it because like, yeah, Royal Caribbean, their suites, even if it's just a junior suite, one of their smaller suites, those are so expensive. We paid with my discount and everything because like I said, we got a, just a balcony room on this cruise back in February 20. Three, we decided to upgrade it and I just called the casino and asked them how much it would cost to upgrade to an app suite because they had one available and it ended up being somewhere around five thousand dollars so we paid for both of us for this app suite for this week vacation around 40 I think it was forty eight hundred dollars and they're normally around eight grand so we got about 50 percent off that's pretty good because if you ever looked at any suites on the Royal they good lord even on the icon they start out for balcony rooms they start out three thousand dollars it's an insane amount of money but when you get into their suites they go from ten thousand dollars all the way up to seventy eighty thousand dollars now they're huge and all that stuff but something this size would cost us probably about ten to twelve thousand dollars on a royal ship so if you can do it do it because it's it's worth it especially for a week three or four days i wouldn't do it but for a whole week to have this kind of space it's this is insane go gamble in the casinos it does pay off you do lose money but you do get free cruises in return they do send good offers carnival's much better about sending free cruise offers than royal will ever be i do get some from royal but it's always free interior room and it's always on specific dates and it's always like a three, four days, sometimes a seven day. They only give you like five ship options with four or five dates on each ship option. We're going to Rudy's tonight, so we'll see you at Rudy's. Wow, they're serious. There is a guy telling our ship with an assault rifle, it looks like. Let me get my, let me see if I can get a better view of that, but there he is. Hopefully I can zoom in on that, that's insane. All right, we are officially at this table awesome thank you our first activity for the day because <laughs> we've been in the room since we've gotten here is eating at rudy's there's our view nice view yeah me and t ate out there last time we were on the mardi gras we ate outside wasn't bad it's nice and cool all right this is my first appetizer it is the seared shrimp with this little bitty bit of sauce wonderful and this is my second appetizer which is the seared shrimp there's my seared shrimp voyager tea got lobster mac and cheese everybody else got lobster mac and cheese so that was delicious i had two of them so they were really good that sauce is so good on that shrimp all right guys and this is my main course that is a pork chop. And I don't know what this is. It looks like some red onions, relish. I don't know what that is. But there is my pork chop. I'm going to get into that right now. So here's dessert. I got the chocolate truffle cake or something. Chocolate lava cake. No, it's just chocolate tr truffle cake. They didn't have the... Yeah. And T got the bread pudding? Uh-huh. White chocolate bread. White chocolate bread pudding. And they got <laughs> twin sisters. Oh, well, yeah, okay. What is that? Cheesecake? Key lime pie. Oh, key lime pie. Okay. The smiley face key lime pie. I can smell the chocolate. It smells rich. Yeah, I'll eat your cookie. You don't want the cookie? It's like a fortune cookie. I get the cookie. You gotta eat this chocolate on chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. 
Back in the room, I got a change. I just got done at Rudy's. I look like an alcoholic walking up the stairs because I was walking up to my room like this. Rudy's gave us a bottle of white and red wine, complimentary, and they let you take them back to your room. Usually they make you drink them and then they take them at the restaurant. This time they didn't. So I'm going to leave one out. I don't, I don't drink wine. We're not big wine drinkers, but since it was free, I kind of felt obligated to do it. So... So we're just going to put them in the fridge. And yeah, but the, the food at Rudy's, golly, it's so good. It's some of the best seafood on a ship. Really good. And now we're headed to the casino. I just went to the casino for a long time, and I have lost, 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 lost. I guess Carnival knows all about the Horizon trip and wants their money back. <laughs> so let's go check some stuff out. favorite places to go is right here let me see if they got any whoppers for tea and some sweet tarts this one isn't as big as uh some other ones that i've been to Ooh, but they got smarties cha-ching Ooh, they got whoppers i gotta get whoppers this is the only time we eat it actually is when we're on the ship all right let's get oh there they are whoppers whoppers for tea sprees for me oh yeah there's our candy for the week. All right, all right, all right. We got our candy. I'm going over here to get me some sugar from my sweet tea that I made upstairs. This is how I do it. Get me some sugar. And this is not going in one bottle of tea. I use this for multiple teas, so don't freak out. But yeah, I like making sweet tea when I'm in the room. We didn't go to any shows tonight because there really wasn't any shows to be seen. There was a show in a theater, but nobody wanted to go to it, so they just went up to the room. I stayed in the casino, regrettably. Dr. Eats PhD. This is where that is. They do their entertainment. There's emeralds. Now this is different. They have these little screens here that's got different views. Really cool. We will be in the carnival kitchen Tuesday, I think. Monday, no, Monday. We have the barbecue carnival kitchen fun with cooking. We did the uh, tailgating party the last time and that was pretty good. We did that on the celebration. It wasn't what you would normally have in your own tailgate party, but elevators are the same. Very small. Let's go to 10. Very small. I mean, what is there, 5,000 plus on this ship right Death now? 10. Best thing to do when you're on elevators on these ships, do the rear or the aft and do the front. The middle ones are always the most crowded. Now we are on the deck, and this is our view at night. That is so awesome. It really is. They've closed the pools. It's like 11 o'clock tonight, but man, it feels absolutely wonderful out here tonight. Well, I guess they didn't get in the hot tub unless they drained it. So yeah, there's the hot tubs on deck eight. Looks like everybody's gone to bed. It's not that late. This is a spectacular deck. I can't get over this deck. Okay, so this is sweet. I just turned the lights out. Look at these lights. That is so cool. They look like little balloons. Golly. All right, so let's do our close out because I got a lot to talk about. Let's do it over here on the side because Tiffany is asleep and I don't want to wake her up. Oh, wow, look at that. Just the lighting in this area is just awesome. Oh, so yeah, that ends day one. Today was a weird day because like I said, embarkation is usually super easy to do. We stayed at the Tremont or the Tremont. I don't know what they call it. Really nice hotel, super close to the port, but the shuttle bus was a nightmare. We gave them our luggage. We said we had the 10 o'clock. We were going on the Carnival Jubilee. They were like, yeah, you're on the right bus, get on. There wasn't enough room for me. 
there were 16 people on the shuttle and I had to stand the entire time, which would normally not bother me since we were just going right across the street, but it literally took us 30 minutes just to get from our hotel to the port area. They didn't even drop us off at Jubilee. They dropped us off at the Carnival Dream and they were like, oh, well, I didn't know. I'm like, you had us on the list. So yeah, we had to get off at the Carnival Dream port area, the embarkation area, and then walk all the way down. It was right next to the Carnival Dream, the Carnival Jubilee, but it was still a good 300 yard walk. And we had, including myself, people who just could not walk that far, but we had no choice. Otherwise, they were gonna make us go back to the hotel, sit in the shuttle, go pick up more people, and then turn around and go back to the Carnival Jubilee. Like I told you earlier, I got searched. They had a, we already went through security. I had my backpack, we were fixing the walk towards the ship. They had a, I'm assuming a drug dog sniffing us. And I looked down, I love dogs. So I was looking down at the dog. The dog just sniffed me and looked the other way. And the cop that had the dog apparently pointed me out and said, search him. They did exactly that. I, they stripped everything out searched everything that I had and obviously found nothing, but wasn't a good embarkation to say the least. Going through security and all that other stuff minus the strip search was fine. Everything else was a nightmare. Once we got on a ship, everything was fine though. Yeah, this room, insane. Just a great room. We booked this back in February of 23. Probably somewhere around that May to June 23 area, we decided to upgrade to a suite. And we got this suite since it was available. No regrets on that one. We've never done this before, so to have something like this is just awesome. So that obviously put all of that crap that we had to deal with to get on the ship, made it a lot better. Tomorrow's day two, tomorrow's a sea day. We're headed towards Honduras and Mahogany Bay is where we are headed. We have a sea day Sunday and Monday and then we will be in Mahogany Bay on Tuesday. We've got a couple days on the ship, so it'll be really crowded. The pools will be really crowded, but we've got this area right here. Plus we're in a suite so they can go to Loft 19. They can enjoy that if they want to. That wraps up day one, the weirdest embarkation day that I've ever had. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, share button. You know the drill, notification bell. That way every time I put out a new video, you guys will be the first to know about it. And we will see you in the morning on day two of our Carnival Jubilee seven-day cruise. So until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Peace and love. Bye.